like I, I just feel stupid because I didn't know what I was gonna say. So I was just making <laughs> stuff up. Uh, just, just kind of the, um, I see everything through my own lens. So the people I grew up with who are mainly women, uh, and mainly black women, I, I don't feel like I see that enough. I don't feel like I see a variant of stories enough. I think there's a brilliant Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie TED talk about the danger of a single story, and it's not like one portrayal's negative. I don't believe in that, but I think we just need a variant, especially, I'm a black woman, so I see everything through that lens. Especially with the diaspora, I just think we need to see more. Just more, there's not enough. Just keep going, more, 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 more. Um, foster um, an environment of risk taking for the big theaters, right. for the small takers. And not to think about it as risk taking, you're just creating space for new voices to come in. Yeah. And also to trust that the younger generation will be okay and will create new languages which will come to dominate the narrative when we are too old to be able to talk to ourselves and to understand how the world works. And her play was typified that in the most creative, most incredible, fastest, most most emotionally inventive way. I was I was it was such a joy for me to give you this because I thought about I remember seeing the play thinking the kids will be alright. And that's what I mean. That's what I mean. It was the first publication I knew that was for, for actors because I started well, actually, I wanted to be a writer, and then I was doing acting, and now, what am I doing? I don't know. But, <laughs> um, but like, uh, so I knew it as a theatre publication, and I knew it as somewhere that, that sort of felt accessible to actors without agents, and actors with agents, and sort of like a universal thing for people in theatre in Britain, um, and I knew it as that magazine. I'm writing a few things which I don't want to talk about because it's dangerous. Um, <laughs> but I'm definitely doing my best friend with Inua. Inua in... November? November. In November, in November yeah. with, directed by Minnie and uh, curated by Rachel Delahaye. What else? Uh, things I won't say because I feel like they won't get done if I say <laughs> <laughs> Write the story you want to write and don't think about anyone else, I think. Just be selfish. <laughs> um, you talked about the way you look through the world yeah. and how you perceive the world. And I think that is the writer's most precious characteristics, the odd ways in which we take in light. I agree. When we look at a field of grass and we see 1,600 shades of gold, we can't ever lose that. That is what makes us us. And I think writers um, should just Grant that intensity because if you if you if you start trying to you know imitate. create well, imitate imitation is important yes but then you've got to keep going and on. you have to filter through to understand what it is you're imitating and where it meets your soul else you're just regurgitating something that has come before and people can just go to Shakespeare if they want something that looks like Shakespeare and <laughs> even Shakespeare he made up words exactly <laughs> when people democratize like when people like try and own language and be like you can't make up words I'm like shut up yeah exactly. Like, <laughs>